Welcome back. Vice President Harris is also reacting to the draft opinion by Justice Samuel Alito. The vice president released a statement saying, what is clear is that opponents of Roe want to punish women and take away their rights to make decisions about their own bodies. Individuals and organizations across the country have been reacting to the draft opinion since it was leaked last night. Planned Parenthood is calling the draft decision horrifying and unprecedented. On the other side of the issue, groups that support ending abortion access, like the group Susan B. Anthony List, are applauding the news. I am joined now by the president of the Susan B. Anthony List, Marjorie Densfeller. Thank you so much for joining me. Really appreciate it. Thank you. I want to start by playing you a little bit of what we heard from the former president of Planned Parenthood, Cecile Richards, and get your reaction on the other side. Okay. Abortion didn't begin with Roe versus Wade. Abortion has always existed. What happened when Roe was passed was that women quit dying in emergency rooms in America. So we will continue to have abortion in this country uh, if these justices are successful. It simply will be unsafe and illegal, and women's lives will be at risk. Ms. Dana Felser, your reaction to that, that there has always been abortion. Abortion will go on. It will just now cost lives if Roe v. Wade is, in fact, overturned. What's your reaction? No, our nation's history from the very beginning under common law did not embrace abortion. And in fact, it was outlawed in, state, in all states up until, um, up until very recently, until 1973. It but was uh, abortion that, was that rejected. That, that's, her, that's the point Sorry? that I think you heard Cecile Richards make, that, that before Roe v. Wade, not having access to safe and legal abortion. I understand her point, and if you let me finish, I'm going to finish my point also. The reason that abortion was rejected historically in our nation is that there was an understanding that in every abortion, every crisis situation, there is a mother and a child to be cared for, assisted uh, all along the way, and walked with. So I, when I was very pro-choice. I did not see two people in every decision. But most of America sees two considerations every time a woman is pregnant. There, when you hear somebody's pregnant, it's almost always congratulations, unless you've decided that that is something other than another human being. That's the fundamental question that we have before us. Every state should have the right to allow consensus in its state to make its way into the law. And that, and the reason we have not had this is that the, is that the Supreme Court took away that right because the abortion argument could not win in the court of public opinion. Let and me, since well, it let, didn't, it's been yeah. held by the court for that long, and now hopefully we'll have a chance. You raised the court of public opinion. Let me ask you about the court of public opinion, because according to our latest polling, 54 percent of Americans think Roe should be upheld. So right now, the public opinion is not with you. What do you make of that? Yeah, well, you know why? Because of the worst reporting that has been out there over the last almost 50 years, says that Roe only restricts abortion, um, only allows uh, restrictions in the first trimester. Not true. And that is not generally known by the public. The public embraces restrictions on abortion that Roe would never allow. Late-term abortion, abortion at 20 weeks. But it does Roe get far more complicated those, in the later those, terms. Those opinions are wildly it does get more complicated and have in the passed all over the country. 15 weeks is a great example. The one that has actually been tested by the court is a great example. This is overwhelmingly supported by the country, by the nation, and Roe disallows it. That's why Roe is under, is under danger, because of a 15-week limit. You say it's overwhelmingly supported by the country. What's your proof when the polling says polling? otherwise? Have you seen any polling on 15-week limits? Because every polling, left, right, Gallup, MSNBC even, Polls show that 15 weeks as a limit is embraced by the nation by large numbers, 70 percent by Mar um, Maris poll shows. And I mean, if you want the polling, I can send it to you. You can put it up on the screen here. But let's just be honest. Honesty is that Roe versus Wade is uh, is not understood at all and that people support restrictions that Roe doesn't allow. Most of America thinks abortion should be allowed in the first trimester. That is a majority opinion. That is consensus in many places. Um, but there's also a consensus that it should be limited um, in mid to late term, because that's just a humane thing to do for mother and child. Let, let, let me ask you, um, if Roe is overturned, though, do you believe that there should be exceptions for cases of rape and incest in the states that will now have to have a patchwork of different laws? Every single state will build consensus 
in that state. So do I support the heartbeat bill in Texas? Yes. Do I support the Mississippi 15 limit? limit? Yes. Every one of those things is a game. But, do, what but the do you think there should be exceptions for rape and incest in every, in every state? Every, do you think there should be ex uh, exceptions for those each, cases in every state? state? You're, you're talking about individual states. I'm asking, do you want every single state? I'm, we're not going to have in every state. We're going to have finally a debate in every single state. 30 states can move immediately to build consensus, allow that consensus to make its way into the law, and we'll see we'll see where that lands. But I, I think it's really important for you to acknowledge that the position of the other side and Governor Hogan, who just thinks he might be the president and will be the Republican nominee, that, that is insane thought. Because anybody who embraces abortion up until the end and wants taxpayers to pay for it is not a viable candidate. And I think Democrats are going to start to see this at the polls. In fact, they have uh, in the last several elections. It is not true in any way that uh, that the abortion issue has has in any way diminished the Republican to, brand. To be they clear, know that it brings it brings our field teams across the country are the people who are bringing that middle America. Uh, but ju just, view just to be to the, clear, to people, people who support late-term abortions do so only if the safety and the life of the mother is at risk. This is not true. Is evidence, this is literally not true. And I, and I challenge you, I will send you the, the, the objective data on this. It is literally not true. And I, th I challenge you to do that work and not just guess. Because that is, right that now, is the think, argument that most people, people who support late-term abortions make. But let me ask you about these trigger laws. <laughs> let me ask you about the trigger laws that would uh -huh. effectively, in about half the states across the country, uh, would go into effect almost immediately if Roe were to be overturned. We're looking at a map right now. Um, mm -hmm. Are you concerned about what will become a patchwork? And, and I guess the follow-up question to that is, what do you think the punishment should be for someone who performs an abortion or who has an abortion in these states mm. a doctor a doctor who performs an abortion or a person who mails chemical abortions through the mail is knowingly circumventing the law the woman will never be a part of the punishment of this of this thing but the woman and, and Alice but how Paul's can you words, guarantee is, that is, is, is but if this is going to be a patchwork how can you guarantee that if you'd ever let me finish a sentence i would tell you my actual answer to your question Women are exploited by this. They are not. They are victims of this, and they should not be, and they will not be. Uh, they will not be in any way um, penalized. But the person who is the is the one who is feeding off her misery, the abortionist, and the one sending her the chemical abortion through the mail, he or she knows what they are doing. All the original suffragists rejected abortion as an as a as a, it was an ultimate exploitation of women. Embracing mom and child and all of their needs from the very beginning through all of the love that they deserve in resource uh, centers around the country is let exactly me, let me how we should you, son, with love let me ask and you, with mercy and justice. Before I let you go, uh, our reporter Yamish Alcindor is in Mississippi um, outside of the clinic, which is, of course, at the heart of um, this Supreme Court case. And she's been talking to women there uh, who are concerned, who have said uh, that in some instances, in order to access safe and legal abortions, people within their region are having to drive hundreds of miles. What do you say to those women who may not have the financial needs, who may not be in a place where they can access an abortion and yet they're determined to get one. What's your message to I that would say, person? I would say this, that she and her child, this is not an appendix, it's not a tonsil, it's not, a, it's, not a, uh, it's not an extraction of a body part. This is another human being that deserves love and support. And if you live in Mississippi, you have a great governor who is making sure that every single woman there that is experiencing crisis or difficulty has every single thing she needs in order to care for herself and her unborn child. And so I say the people who want to give her a pill and a slap on the back and go out the door are not meeting her actual needs. Her needs are not to eliminate the child uh, conceived, but to help her and her unborn child. That's what the pro-life movement is about. It's about justice and it's about mercy. All right, Marjorie Denenfelser, thank you so much for joining us. I know it is a very busy day for you as well. Really appreciate it.